All right, what is going on, everyone? My name is Mark. I'm back with another episode. Hopefully this time the video quality will be a little bit better. I'm working on fixing it, but this should be better than before. But we'll see. I won't really know until I start rendering it or editing it technically, but final product also has to be checked. All right, so today we're going to have a league match, which I haven't done yet this season because I'm mostly preparing for uh, Europe. All my matches are mainly in Europe right now. It's always good to have something new. Today we'll be facing off against Groningen. We have Oana in goal, Veltman, Alvarez, Martinez, and Peri as our back four. We have Marin, Kana making up the two central midfielders with Promise, Zayik, Tadic, and Huntel are making up our attack force. Hopefully this match will end well, but we'll see. We have been on a tear in the league, and we have not lost. I don't plan on losing. Uh, probably our losses that we'll take will either be in cup matches locally or the European cup matches, but we'll see. I'm going to say go out there and carry straight on from the last match. Okay, got some decent reactions from a couple players. That's nice to see. Get all these check marks done. I have faith in you guys. What are the auto settings? We're closing a lot of them down. Okay, that's cool. Let's go. Both teams are in good form. How do you rate your chances? I think we have what it takes to win. Continental effect? No, we might be tired, but we can do take care of this business. But yeah, Ajax has been progressing smoothly, I guess. I do need to find a new striker. I believe of a striker in the academy I could use probably, but we'll see. Also, this weekend, or at least this Friday, I didn't upload. Never got around to working on Ajax. But with my other save kind of done that I usually play, I usually play a Dortmund save. That season's ended, so I have time for this. Oh my good lord, promise just unleashed a... Thunderbolt from outside the box. Now that was unexpected. He's a good player though. They gave him a lot of space. He just unleashed it. Although then again, it looks like the goalkeeper didn't do such a great job. Let's take a look at this goalkeeper. He looks pretty competent. Uh-oh, Kana picked up a yellow. Gotta be careful now. Okay. That was a little sloppy, but we can do better. Martinez, Promise, Martinez. Why is Martinez there? He's not even a right back. Veltman, Martinez with the cross. Huntelar. I think he headed that ball back to Marin, who smashed that in. So, Marin is a fairly interesting character. He's a Mazala for us. Yep, it was a header. Back to Marin. That was a good goal. Mar Marin is surprisingly good. I didn't expect so many goals from midfield. But we'll work the ball into the box, see if that changes anything. So it looks like we're distributing well from the back. Tadic is kind of iffy. I'm not sure how good he is. Promise with the cross. We recover. But yeah, I was I didn't watch it, but in the English Premier League, good lord, man, Leeds United. They won 4-3 against Fulham. It was wild. I saw the highlights. Man, full, um, Leeds, their defending is so sloppy. But then again, I think that's just expected for such a attacking side. But back on topic. Let's see, team talk. Don't get complacent. Okay, one guy loses confidence. Of course it's promise. I get the feeling he's not exactly the most mentally strong against um, tough team talks. I get that feeling. But we'll see. Tell Kana to avoid the second booking. He's a new player that I acquired. At least from this year's FM, he's he's allegedly really good. So we'll see. Okay, that was a pretty good cross. Okay, Oana. Okay, Martinez. But back on Leeds, I watched the last week's match against Liverpool, which was the season opener, and they lost four three that time. 
and they were they were killing it against um, Liverpool, the champions. So that was pretty crazy. Man, I I ah, I wish I could watch more Leeds games. But oh wow, Huntelaar got a header. That's nice. But unfortunately, I don't have the Peacock um, subscription thing that NBC has. I think it's like five dollars a month or something like that. You can watch with ads, or you could pay ten dollars a month to avoid ads. I mean, I'm not that big into football per se because I kind of sleep in a bit too much. I mean, I would have to. I think I have to about wake up around six or something on the weekends to watch some of their matches. But I mean, you do what you got to do, right? If you like football, you watch football. But, yeah, Leeds is crazy good this year. I hope I hope they at least crack the top ten and um, just tear into the Premier League. We need, we need um, Bielsa's insane um, pressing football. Sometimes I wish I could replicate some, some of that type of... Yeah, my bad. Some of the style that he replicates or he creates on the field. All right, we got corner. Hunt did Hunt the score? Oh, wow. I'm really worried about being um, so dependent on Hunt to score us goals because it's going to kill us once he leaves. And he's old, so that's bad. But anyway, it's pretty crazy in the Premier League this year. Don't even don't even get me started on Everton. Those guys are wild. Well done, guys. Yeah, we did a good job this match. But Everton has James Rodriguez, a world-class creator who's fallen onto some bad times. But he did okay, I think, last year. No, I think the year before. He did okay um, at uh, Bayern Munich, but... Hasn't really done too hot in the prem. I mean, in the Real Madrid. Besides, I think his first season there. So this is gonna be spicy, man. This is gonna be some spicy Premier League because we got a hot shot Everton. I believe they won today, five two against um, West Brom. So that's pretty wild. Dominic Calvert Lewin. He scored a hat trick. James Rodriguez scored too. I'm telling you, if if he can play as freely as he would like, but I mean, pretty sure he's gonna get figured. They're gonna get figured out, and you know, there might be a really really aggressive defenses that might prevent Everton from playing the way they want. James Rodriguez is just lighting up the Premier League with his spectacular passing. Oh my God, dude, it's so crazy. But yeah, I look forward to watching any Everton matches or Leeds matches that ever show up on TV. But you know, I'm okay with watching the highlights too. So. No biggie. Anyways, I don't want to get dragged too too long about commentary in real life football. You know, Ajax took care of business. As you can see, we're undefeated. Seven seven matches played, seven matches won. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. This is World Town FC, united to triumph.